There we go. All right, hello everyone. Uh, well, got some bad news though. I'm not gonna be able to see everyone's uh, uh, chat because my computer just died. Like, found it on the ground earlier. No idea how. I'm guessing a cat got to it. Um, was just laying on the ground. So that that was kind of cool. But uh. cool. Like, no, that happened. But, uh, anyway. I pretty much got everything separated. Uh, don't know what I'll be working on first. I'm probably gonna work on the Prime first, just to get out of the way. Because I have a couple things I want to do with that. Um, Arbdance, Euro Tyrant, Screamer Killer thingy, Carnifex. 100 million amount of termagants. Uh, the prime we're going to work on first. More termagants. I can put these back in the box while I'm working. Um, then this. Oh, the uh, Von Ryan Leapers. The Spider, or the Psychophage, like, probably my second favorite model in this entire set. Uh, Neurogaunts. And that's pretty much it for what we're going to build today. Um, and then tomorrow, we're going to go ahead and start painting. Um, then off camera, I have decided to just prime all these models. So that, uh, don't have to really worry about them. So. Yeah. Put these back in here. Cause I have a few things I want to do with the uh, the prime. Um, I have a Terminator in here. Let's see if I can find him. No, he wouldn't be in here. He'd be in this. Sorry, right, like a bunch right here. Aha, there he is. I have a Terminator in here just chilling. Plan on using him. All right. Now let's start. Yeah, but like it's just saying reboot and select proper boot vice, little device. Or insert boot media and select boot. De Why is there so many boots? Device and press a key. Oh, I'm gonna press a key. It just goes right back to it. So it's like, cool. I'm not dealing with that today. So I apologize if uh, I can't see anyone's messages. It's not my fault. I woke up to it. So uh, let's start. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Forgot that was on. Uh, so, what we're going to be working on today <clears throat> is the Prime. Uh, let me boop this down a little bit. Oh, jeez. Boop that down a little bit so everyone can see what I'm doing. Um, be using some cork and then something to pin them in with, my just a random paper clip and... Hopefully that will actually not work, unfortunately, and I'm not going to do that. So, like, this entire thing is, like, literally hanging off the model. <laughs> so it's like, nah, I ain't dealing with it. So we're just doing cork. Um, Alright. We're going to wing this, because don't have a computer to look at all the new, uh, the instructions, so. It is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. I think a cat got up here and decided to have fun with my mouse and uh well he fucked around he found out because <laughs> my mouse was at the door my computer was on the ground <laughs> um I think a cat freaked out and uh 
go on from there. Uh... Oh, what I was going to do, per every time I was building a model, I was going to show the data sheet of it, so hold on. One second. I'm just going on the Warhammer 40k app. Uh, Tyranids, data sheets. I'll just be at the way bottom. Yep, Blink Tyranid Prime. Going back. Boop. Boop. What is up? Sorry about the infinity. Alright. So, the Wing Tyranid Prime. Um, he's movement 12, T5, 4 up save, 6 wounds. Um... He's actually pretty good. Uh, he's If you run Warriors, you're going to be running him almost every time. Uh, he flies, so you can kind of just use him as a lone operative if you really want to. He's not technically a lone operative, but he he's just so fast. He's fast as fuck, boy. But, uh... And we are using glue today, because uh, I don't mess with pins. Pins are stupid. I'm gonna light this stuff up. I'm using my rack to hold my phone. <laughs> I don't have an actual tripod. Um. <clears throat> Sorry. I have frogs this morning. All right. So what I usually do with these, if I have pins, I snip the tip off the pin and put it in. Because most of the time, the pins are just a little bit too big, and they tend to just make it look terrible. It makes it look like it's pushing out a little bit. And then when you try to take it out, it's like... It's like, jeez. It's like trying to take out a, uh... Basically, an, anything out, really. I'm trying to think of something that I can compare to it. Can't spell, but it's just a pain in the ass to take out. Long story short. Um. <clears throat> this. Gotcha. Okay. This. Hmm. Mo intrusante. Let me get the head out. But yeah. Straight up kind of annoyed that I can't kind of like look at anyone's like see what's everyone talking about because my computer died. And that was kind of irritating a little bit. Yeah, I hopefully I'll get it figured out by tomorrow because it's kind of annoying. So I apologize if I can't see anyone's messages. Uh, it will be fixed tomorrow. I will try to my best. Well, try my best to get it fixed tomorrow. No idea how it got on the ground though. It was literally perfectly sitting here on this box. But. On a flat surface, that is. It was, in fact, sitting on a flat surface. Um, kind of weird. Probably some mischievous cat decided to think it was smart to uh, have fun with it. Alright. Um, snip a little bit of the top off.
And it fits in there just like a glove. Like a glove. And then I think how this is supposed to go. Yep, like this. So I glue this stuff in because. in there. Perfect. And then we'll let this dry for just a minute. Uh, we will start doing the legs so we can start pinning them and uh, get them inside the uh, cork. Because we have cork. Uh, what else does he do? His melee is actually really good. On the um, instructions, which is kind of weird, but his instructions say something absolutely different uh, about what he does. For example, he has like five attacks at strength five, neg one, one damage, but if you look at these on the app, six attacks, hits on two, strength six, neg one, two damage. So... There's a few of them in the, uh, whatchamacallit, the data slate that are, in fact, off. But, uh, honestly, go off of this. Don't go off the actual, whatchamacallit, the, uh, instructions. Those aren't correct. Um, for example, also, the Neurotyrants data sheets are also off. Also, what else is off is the, uh, the Neurogaunts. Apparently they have anti psyker three. I was like, and two attacks. That'd make it pretty good in my opinion. Like, not broken good. But there's not actually a way in this army to give a unit devastating wounds except for gene stealers. Um, like outside of that, like they really didn't need to take that away in my opinion. But I get it. Anti whatever is kind of a little silly, but uh, I do understand why it exists because certain things are meant to go against certain things. Like, for example, like Meltas, they should go against tanks, but they can't almost because they're strength nine, and pretty much every vehicle or monster in the entire game is like. not above basically above strength nine so it's like oh cool <laughs> uh, This is actually a fairly tall model. I was hoping I would get a Terminator on here, but... You know, go off the actual trailer and stuff. I thought it would have been kind of cool to do. Oh no. Had a little thing there still. And with this model existing, I really, really hope we have Shrikes again. Because, uh, Shrikes were cool. Just having a winged warrior do winged warrior shit, I thought that was kind of dope. Uh, I mean, if it doesn't exist again, it's not really much of a big deal. Can't really do much over it. Um, I've had this hair in my mouth all day. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna snip a little bit of that off. Actually, I don't think it needs to be snipped off. That one at least. It's it's kind of. Uh, we'll see.
<laughs> Wait a minute. Hold up. Oh, okay. I'm just sitting here looking at this, I'm like... This thing sits flat. It, like, on its peg. That's kind of cool. Makes me wonder if I'm supposed to be there. But, we're just gonna... Get a... My knife and just make a little hole for it. Break some cork off. Cut a little bit of it, why not? Make it look like it's broken and stuff. Just not look like a square. Looks kinda weird. Alright. You like that? Hopefully. And then again, the thing about cork, it would just form back. And then instantly make a liar out of me because, you know, cork. And then, yeah, get rid of the bottom of it. Get flush. Alright. Some super glue. Okay. And I know I have super glue. Why don't you work on? See? And nothing is wanting to go my way today. Okay. There it comes. Seems like I might have to go to the store later and pick myself up another thing of super glue. Yep, that was done. And this will get plastic glue. Oh, now it decides to do that. Whatever. 
I mean, I guess it looks like it's kind of getting ready to pounce, but no, that's getting fixed. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Okay, like do like that. Like that. We'll make this work. Gargoyles. Which is one of my... But then I also hate winged ones because they're literally metal. <laughs> so it's like, oh, okay. It's like, I don't know. I don't really much like it that much. But, you get everything you want. the other one. And also, by the way, in case anyone has any questions about it, I did in fact not get the other half of it. Um, I just wanted the bug half because I like bugs. Um, that, that's just, that's the only reason why. <laughs> I didn't want the other half. Um, the legs I'll do later. Yeah. The, uh, maybe I will now. This while I'm thinking about it. Probably should. There's one leg, and here's the other. And also, I planned on painting the models I know for a fact I will be using first. Um, and then I'll be probably painting everything else afterwards. Uh, I think the only things I'm not using are, like, the Von Ryans and the Screamer Killer. I think that's actually it. I think that's all I'm um, actually doing, that is. Or playing with. Um, don't know what else. I'm trying to think. I think that's, I think that's all I'm going to be playing with at the time. Yeah. It is. Alright. Um. Alright. Just kind of went off my own little world there for a second. But I plan on getting all this stuff built today. Uh, building all this today is more of a priority to me than anything else. Just getting it built today is the plan. That's kind of why I started a little early. I didn't know how long this was going to take. So I decided to be a little bit prepared. A little bit prepared. Oh. The Screamer Killer now. Hold on. Uh, Alright, sorry for that. Alright, Winged Prime. Screamer Killer. So, he's a fairly fast moving monster. Um, it's kind of weird. 
Like, all the, I think the Carnifixes all move 8, they're all T9, they all have a 2-up save, and they're all 10 wounds. It, it's pretty much just a Carnifex, but... That was weird. But yeah, it's pretty much just a Carnifex. Could show me the Carfax. It's kind of what I call it, but he's not technically a Carnifex. I don't think he even had the key, Carnifex keyword. Yeah, he don't. But, uh... That guy is... He's one of our anti-tank monsters, in a way. Because we don't really have any anti-tank in this army, excluding some guns here and there and some sidekick. Um, but yeah, he's he's 10 wounds. I mean, all Carnifixes are also 10 wounds, I think. Um, what else? And honestly, how you would run him... I would throw him into, like, a Tyrannocyte, throw him up the board and throw him at people. Gives him, like, he moves fast, but, like, not that fast. He'll just get shut off the board. Like, he doesn't really have anything special about him. Yeah, he can force Battle Shock with Psychic, well, with Death Scream in your shooting phase. And I think his range is just the, yeah, that. So you could just come out of Deep Strike and use that, shoot him, and then charge. Um... It's D6 plus 3, strength 4, well, Blitz Kill 4, strength 8, neg 2, 1 damage. It's good for just killing some Marines here and there. You can also advance and shoot it as well, which is kind of cool. Um, I think once you shoot after, well, after you, one of those units were hit, you just do a battle shot, which I think is kind of cool. Kind of goes into aesthetic of, like, how he is in game-wise. I found another foot. <laughs> well, one of the other halves, at least. I was looking for it. I was like, where's the other foot? But, uh, this model is actually kind of big. Though, when you get the box, you think, oh, wow, there's a ton of models in here. But then you realize uh, Neurogaunts are 45 points also. That's a little bit of a spoiler in a way. But also, if you've played four or five games of this already, not really much of a spoiler at this point. But uh, if you've played so many games already, and you know this, Neurogons are meant to block the Neuro Tyrant. It's kind of what I'm using for them. Um, it's kind of weird that there's no actual warriors in here because it's the only way the Prime can physically be bodyguard, which is kind of weird. But the Space Marine side has everything that can bodyguard with something. So it's just like... Okay. I mean, I, I get it. And I wouldn't mind spending an additional $50 on it. Just so I can get another box of Warriors out of it. It's not a big deal. It's just like... Oh, okay. It, it's just Space Marine. We're the villain at the moment. Not real too worried about it. It's just like cool GW. Thank you for that. But um, no, this box is really cool. I'm glad that Tyranids are starting to get more miniatures. The only minute, okay, I started Eighth Edition, so I don't actually know. I never seen all the new models come out, like the stuff in Seventh Edition or Sixth Edition when we had a refresh. I never, I wasn't there to see it all, so. Hold on. I'm going to do this first. Got the little toe claws. <laughs> Don't want to forget those. Toe claw. Because they're in the inside for some apparent reason, not on the outside. Normal Carnifexes are on both sides. I th Actually, I don't think they even have any. Why do these things have toe claws? You don't need to tow claws. Um, his deadly demise. Like, I don't. I don't know. I don't know why he even said deadly demise. Um, his a uh, melee is strength ten. Na well, hits on threes. Strength ten. One second. 
10 attacks, weapon skill 3, strength 10, neg 2, 3 damage. This guy murders if he touches something. Um, best way to probably run him is throw him in a Tyrannocyte, though. Because he's just going to get shot at. Like, that's pretty much it. And he's super squishy. Some small anti-tank gun can just take this dude out and then next time. In fact, next. So, it's... He's not super, super powerful, but... I understand. I do, in fact, understand. Okay. We're gonna put this on now. Just... Look at everything, see if everything's correct. Alright. Put some glue in these little holes. Oh, put that glue in that hole as well. In that one. We're gonna put this on like this. Come on. There we go. Okay, see if there's any more flash I gotta deal with. There it is. I have a kitty in here. Probably the kitty that did it. Because I can't see anyone's chat right now because my kitty decided to destroy everything. But that's okay. It's kitties. And pissed, but I can't really do much about it. At the end of the day, that's my fault. Should have known better. But here we are now. Continuing on with our life properly. Alright. We're going to put the toe claw. Where, there's the other toe claw. There's probably an actual literal name for these and I don't really care. But they're toe claws. They will forever and always be called toe claws. Let's go back to the painting camera. Wish I had a way to like stand this up. My old case was able to do that, but this one don't. That's okay though. Alright. In you go. Alright, there's one foot on. Is this supposed to look like this? Oh, that's right, he's leaning to the side. So it's gonna be like this kind of thing, I think. It just looks weird going like that. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Something didn't seem right there. Um... I forgot some of the flash on the top. But I'll probably be painting the, uh... This dude last. And the Von Ryan Lakers last. I'll be doing those specifically last. Yes. I'm gluing this in. These are one of the bits that would come out consistently. Okay. 
in you go. Perfect. It's in. And now we will do the other side. I need to put the toe claw on here though first. He's just yelling to yell, guys. I promise you, we don't need anything. He's just literally yelling to yell. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah? I know. There it goes. Good. Hmm. Get a little toe claw in there now. Alright. Oh. There we go. Just see everything's fit properly. Now the glue. Boop. 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 What the heck is that? Is that supposed to go there? I think so. Um. Hold on. I'm going to probably get off here for a little bit, guys. Um, it's going to be on a be right back screen. Uh, because my kitty needs me. Let's see what he needs. Maybe he's hungry. At least I think this goes there. Yeah. I think it was there. Okay, in you go. Okay. Squeeze. Come on. There we go. It's in there. And now where'd that go? There it goes in there. There. Now we can officially put him on the base.
Okay. Why aren't you going on? There we go. There. We're good. Just being a pain. There we go. What's up? Making sure the base wasn't weirdly warped. Anything else? I don't have to do the head. I'm doing that here in just a second. And then the claws. Claws are last. I'm doing the claws dead ass last. There's that. And then the screamer killer face. Hold on. Hold on. I'm being yelled at. I might have to do this early because uh, someone is uh, getting irritated. It is what it is. And do this face and I'm gonna see what it needs and I'll be right back so let's do this real quick I probably come back with something to drink because I'm kind of thirsty Okay. Yeah, let's run there all the way. And then this goes in there like that. I'm gonna glue this part in. But I think I'm gonna do this first. Trigger all the flash off. And then, boop. Coolio. I'm going to put some glue inside these little nubs. There we go. And then we're going to glue this. And put a little glue right there. Mr. No Chin. <laughs> well, no jaw jawline. But, uh, I'll be right back, everyone. Um, we're about fourth of the way, well, three-fourths of the way done, so I will be right back. I gotta go see what he needs.
All right. Sorry about that, guys. That was a minor technical difficulty I just had. Um, but we are back. So, no clue. Um, I continuously just had just my starting soon screen just on it. So I was like, I'm going to get rid of that real quick. It's kind of just more annoying than anything else. Uh, just go in here. Well, this one. Nope. This one? I think this is the one. Is it? Don't know. Don't have my instructions. But, sorry about that. We are back, though, now. Just a minor technical difficulty. Which was solved. I think this is the one. Not of this now. I think. Yeah, okay, I didn't get them all off yet. But, uh. And also, once again, still can't hear anyone because my computer died, so. Don't know what's going on there. Ain't gonna deal with it right now. But, tomorrow's stream will have me interacting with chat a lot more often. And, uh, hopefully the situation will be fixed. Because, uh... It's super annoying. But, hey, what can you do? Oh, I can't interact with chat. Okay. Hi, Dan. And I'm just a chillin' building a carnifix. Well, screamer killer. Just didn't see your messages. I guess if I go on this one, I could see everything. But, uh, well, okay then. <laughs> Just building a Carfax. But what's going on, Dan? How's Dan doing today? Yeah, I don't think I can actually interact with chat. Can I? I can't actually. I don't know. No. I'm not Dan. I'm sorry. 
No, I don't like that at all. <laughs> it's Carfax. It's the Carfax Fox. Come on. This is also like one of the weirdest models. Cool. And in your command phase, you can select up to two friendly Tyranid units within 12 inches of this model. Until the start of your next command phase, you select those units. All the selected units are considered to always be within synaptic range of your army until my next command phase. Uh, those little nodes, so synaptic relays, 100%, those little dudes, these little things. The Neuroloids, that's what those are. They're the tokens for it. Coolest looking things I've ever seen. That's why I love this model, because Tyrion has never had anything like this before. So it's kind of really cool to see. So its leader units are extremely disappointing, though. That's just my opinion. But I get it. He's a tyrant. Um, but he leaves Neurogons and Tyrant Guard. Yeah. You need, like, an entire unit of Neurogons to make it feel worth it. Like an entire 22-man. Because Neurogons have two Neur dudes. Well, sergeants, apparently. Which is kind of weird, but I get it. Alrighty. Uh, War Gear, uh, what's a unit composition, though? The thing about him, though... He's 105 points, and he is amazing, and he looks cool at the same time. The coolest model in the entire army, potentially. Soon, the, uh, the Death Leaper, because that thing looks dope. Um, anyway, soon to be that, and, well, you can kind of just guess it. <laughs> But yeah, this this is the coolest model in the entire Codex right now. Well, the Index right now, actually. Not the Codex, not for a couple months, probably. Is the coolest model. Alright, let's go back to the painting scene. Boop. Alright. So, my opinions of this model, though, like, honest opinions. He's cool. He's not meant to be a melee. He's not a dude to fight in melee. If he gets in a melee, he's not really going to do much. He's good against small infantry, like t dudes with t-shirts, like guardsmen or something like that. He's not meant to be in melee. Like, um, outside of maybe, yeah, just small infantry, pretty much anything that almost doesn't have a save. He might kill a Marine here and there, but, like, he ain't super powerful, but he's just a cool model, and it's silly not to have him. Uh, things to make him shenanigan-y. Um, not really many. He's just a cool model. Gives you a reason to run Neurogons at the same time. <laughs> Because those Neurogons are just going to... For example, you could just... Because this is this is the Synapse, dude. That's all. Let me go by the base for him. Yeah, he's just a dude that does Synapse. Also, I have a bunch of small little 25mm bases. I forgot my bases. So, well, these 25 millimeters, whenever I was trading, well, taking my half of the box, I forgot the 25 millimeters for them. So, I just grabbed me a couple. Not a big deal. Because I knew I, I, it was in between 28. Okay. Our Titans, they're okay. Uh, the two we have, at least. The two $500 Titans. 
Uh, they're, they're they're actually pretty good. Um, our dire well, our bio cannons basically just two d six, twelve shots. It's like, well, two d six plus twelve shots, a strength ten, neg three, three damage, and it's like, boom. And if you're uh, for the Herophant, actually, no, let's just, I don't think it's on the app yet. I'm not real too worried about it, but uh, if it is on the app, let me know. Save your, we don't have heirlooms. I mean, yeah, actually, kind of, we do, we have bio weapons. <laughs> Our warriors got the heirloom treatment. Now they're like at strength 5, neg 1, 2 damage. Nah, they're not termi killers. They're night killers. <laughs> no, yeah, they're, they're, they're termi killers. Yeah. There's not really anything special about them. Because I will always say we need a literal, actual Titan. Not a $500 Titan that no one can ever, almost ever afford. I mean, I can't afford it anytime soon, I'll tell you that. I don't plan on it. That's an investment. Um, but pretty much all the bio cannons do that. Like, all the Forge World, Tyranid and Titans all have bio cannons. And they're all strength 10. Uh, I think the Flamer for the, the uh... The Scythe Hero Duel, I don't even know what that does. I never actually looked, because I don't like Hero Duels. I don't like the way the models look. So... But straight up, not even gonna lie with you, they are in fact the Termi Killers, 100%. That does not go on that way, it goes on this way. Before I do anything with that though, we're gonna glue it in because I hate push to fit because this stuff never half the time wants to stay. In you go. There we go. The let's do the neuroloids first. Get those out of the way. I can also see myself breaking these models. They're super spindly. <laughs> they really are. It's a sixteen. These are literally the same exact. They're actually not. Okay. I'll put this to the side. I'll do 18. 15. 16. Okay. This is the one I want. Alright. We're good. I'm doing this without instructions. Because uh, my computer died. But I can actually interact with chat. I forgot that this actually had that. So I am interacting. Hello. Hello there. General Pastromi. I don't even know if this is even the right one. This is today. Let's snip this off. Let's 
snip the peg off. And we're gluing it on. There we go. Stay. And, um, where's the other one? There it is. But, uh, the other Titans we actually do have is a, the other aircraft, technically, model. Our aircraft Titan, our Harridan. And we also have the Harrowfint. The Harrow Finn is the coolest one, though, at the moment, because apparently we're supposed to get another one, which uh, I believe when I see it. Because Nids don't get Titans. And when we do get Titans, we have to freaking give part of freaking Soul away to get it. It's super dumb. Okay. Now we're gonna glue this part on. And, um. You know, now that I'm looking at this, I feel like that was supposed to be on this one. Then again, also, I don't think it's supposed to. <laughs> so, it's whatever. It just looks weird. Good to go. Uh, oh yeah, we're still we're still building the tire. My bad. So the tire model itself just looks cool. Uh, the paint job I'm planning on doing is my normal paint scheme, but no one has any idea what that is. And if you do, well, some of people don't, of course. Um, it's just purple, turquoise, a little hint of blue on it, and it's just a variety of layering of uh, purples and blues. It's very just cool looking mainly. Literally, it's all cool colors. He is very stealthy, and he is very lucky at the same time. And why he is this is because he is purple and blue. And he's also slow because green. I feel like I'm missing something. 
Nope, I'm not missing anything. Just looked like it was. Come on, you. Okay. That's on there. Now we're going to get rid of some of the flash. Flash. There it goes. There she goes. Okay. Eh, whatever. You would also think this model would go into a zoanthrope unit. Which is kind of weird that it don't. About done. I didn't see those. Come on, you. Get your ass in there. Go be a bitch. There it goes. Come on. Yeah, I'm talking my models. Cause it won't get in there.
There it goes. Alright. That was annoying. Now I just realized probably should have done that later because now I can't put the arms on. <laughs> Whoops. <sighs> we'll do that here in a second though. We're gonna probably fight with that as well. No, this is actually kind of going a lot easier than I expected it to. Honestly. But I guess it's pushed to fit and it's meant to be easy, so... And again, I've also done this so many times. I kind of just guess and just force things into things, I guess. Come on, there we go. Got those on there? Go back a little bit. Let me go towards. Make it a little better. It's really cool. I really like this model. It's really dope. I'm going to have to go on the actual page to see where the heck these claws go. Uh, one second. I'll be right back. Uh, I don't know which ones go on top of where. Because they're, they're weird. I have to go on the actual page itself, I think. Well, I'm a 40,000. Uh, hold on, you're going to see my face really up close. Uh, that is not telling me to turn my brightness up, probably. Alright. Also doesn't tell me anything. Cool. Uh, let's go to my drive, because I did, in fact, save the instructions. I had the instructions literally on my computer, but, you, yeah, I'm not going to repeat myself after that. Um, Neuro Tyrant, recent, boop, 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 nope, oh, here he is. Okay. So it's those claws on top, and then the other ones on the bottom. Alright, I'll just saying. We are good to go. Yeah. Sorry about that. So these ones are on the top. I think we'll do the bottom ones first, I think. Yeah, we're gonna do the bottom ones. Then after this near return, I'm probably gonna go in there and grab myself some of the drink. Cause I forgot I was gonna get myself some of the drink. I oops. So.
God damn it. There we go. Try the other side. Huh. Yeah, one are just like a glove. Hmm. God dang it, Bobby. That did too. I'm mad at myself. These are the cutest little claws though. Look at that. These little dinky little claws. Like <laughs> it's cute. Now the murderous ones. Then, after this, we can work on the psychophage. That will not take long. He's literally like four or five bits and he's done. Okay, I did grab him. I'm fat, so I'm like, push my fat in. <laughs> I'm not that fat, I'm only like 260 pounds. only. Trust me, that is something I will be working on this year, hopefully. Just dropping some weight, because... Look at this. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's annoying. I don't like it. It is easier said than done, though. And, uh, it, it's just something I'm gonna have to work on. I know I can do it though. As if I put my mind to it, I can do it. I'm gonna take this off. Mhm. Mm yeah, I'm gonna take this off. I can't actually get to it. Come on. Alright, now we're going to put that back on. That was obnoxious. I actually broke it. Oops. It's a peg, though, so... It'll, if not, almost instantly go back on.
Okay. He is actually built. But, uh, I fucked up, and I broke the peg, so. Ow. We're just going to sit here for a little bit. Come on, you. Stay on there. There we go. We're going to sit here for a little bit. You don't have a really bad hair day today. I usually do. and they put it in my mouth. Well, not yet. Just a little bit longer. Yep, a little bit longer. I'll just let it sit here now. Also, this is like the most underwhelmingly small model in the entire box, but the coolest one. Everyone thought this model was going to be like the screamer killer size and everything, and it's just like, no, he will not. Hey, you can see my face through this one little tiny hole. Hey, what's up? <laughs> just holding a Nero Tyrant. Yeah, this, this model's so cool, though. You have to play him. If you don't, you're not playing the Codex. I'm still kind of figuring out, like, color schemes to do this model. It's good enough. It is coming off. Uh, let me find some that's heavy. Is this heavy enough? Why? Why? You guys heard that? Loud mouth, I tell you. I mean, am I doing anything at the moment? I'm just sitting here. Might as well give him some attention. Where'd you go? There you are. He's a little smoky. Hey, Woody. Just a little black. It's done yet? It's cured enough. Try to fight with it. 
Maybe it comes off. I tried. Okay, it is done. Such a beautiful model. It is it is underwhelmingly small. Like it's just a just slightly smaller, well, slightly big. No, well, it's actually kind of tall. But I think that little terrain bit it has on it. I was talking. Come here. Hold on. have to hold on to this for a little bit. You don't like this at all? <laughs> He's like, help me. I love you. I do. Were you the one who knocked off my computer? Hmm? I'm not mad. It's just more annoying. He's okay. There, come on. Get you down. Alright. Let's do the spider. He's just gonna talk. He's talkative. Now, the spider. The coolest model. I wouldn't say the coolest, but one of the coolest. The third coolest in this entire box. This this is my least favorite, honestly. Oh, forgot the little neuroloids he has. Yeah, the Screamer Kill is my least favorite in the entire box, believe it or not. I'm not going to get rid of him. It's just... don't like it. I just don't like all of our anti-tanks in the melee. So I think tomorrow, I'm going to paint all the characters up. And depending on how much time we have left, I might be painting this model. We will see. I'm not going to be able to get all the termagants done in one day. That's something I have to drag out in a couple videos, I think. Um, there's 20 of them there. And then there's two Ripper Swarms. Let go. There's a lot of models in this kit. I could probably get... Ten of them done in one day. Honestly. And then I gotta also go to the store. Because uh, I need super glue. Yeah, this model is like two or three bits. It's kind of weird. This is one of the models I think I'm going to have to, like, see with a tongue. I think I'm going to do that right now. Uh, I don't think I will. I'll see if I can do it. But, like, I think I will. Well. 
I have it still up. I should... Oh, I forgot to change my unit, the one I'm doing. So, while I'm at it, let's go... Sorry about that. The... Uh, what's it called? Psychophage. P... Psychophage. One of my... Okay. This is a very gimmicky model. It's the one of the only few devastating wounds we have in this codex. Uh, like, gen... Like... Has, like, devastating wounds. Data sheet. Like, excluding the, uh... Whatchamacall dude, the Broodlord. Only other dude that actually has this baked in. Uh, melee. anti psyker Two devastating wounds. Uh, he's meant to deal with psychers. He's just a psyker killer. He has d6 plus one attacks. Stra hits on threes. Uh, wounds psychers on twos. And, uh... Strength six, neg one, two damage. Like, uh... There's a couple models going into this. It would murder them. Um, and then there's a couple that it just won't. part off. In the meantime of trying not to break it. Because I am clumsy. Okay. Does that not go in there? Am I being dumb? I think I'm being dumb. I think I might be being dumb. Is this going there? Cause I know tyranid tongues are weird and different. I think this goes in here like that. There we go. Yep. That's how it goes. That was the hard part. <laughs> Get the tongue in. Anything else on this spur I have to really, really worry about? Not excluding that. No. Because this entire body is one bit. Oh, a little bit of flash there. Smokey, smoker, smokey. I love you. Okay. Let's talk more about this guy. Uh, his range weapons, his psychostatic torrent, which is that weird vents things off of him. Um, it's uh, a torrent, literally. Uh, it ignores cover. It's a flamer. Hello, smoke. Um, it's strength six, neg one, one damage. Um, it's 
nothing special. It's just, it just looks like a generic Tyranid Flamer. To me, at least. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this sack. I think I might do Bugman's Glow on it. There's skin, and then there's not skin. Like, there's a separation of it, like, right here. And I think I might do... Yeah, I think I will. I ain't going to worry about it right now. I'm just brainstorming while I'm doing it. What you need? Hi, cat. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you just up here to be up here? You know my attention? Hmm? Kitty ain't need no knife. Something doesn't seem right. And then it could just be the fig my imagination, though. But let's go back to the uh, hobby camera. Okay, you're back. I have a kitty right here. He's just sitting. Doing his own thing. Yeah, he ain't doing anything wrong. Just being a good kitty. Let me see something. Okay. This dude's literally just a spider. He's a venom crawler, literally.
Okay. Doing the medium ones. Hmm. You're going to come down now and then you're going to start yelling at me more? Because there's actually not much left to build outside of the Von Ryans, the Eurogaunts, and the Termagants. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and the Barbgaunts. I'm going to do the Barbgaunts next. I have a ton of time, guys. I just... I do want to set a timer, is all mainly. What? Hmm. Oh. I was putting it in this hole. <laughs> Oops. And she goes. Yeah, I know these are not supposed to go like that. They're supposed to go like backwards. like that.
Okay. Then he goes. That literally just went in by itself. It just went. It's like, okay. Making sure everything is in there, though. The spider's done. Let's work on some barb guns. Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. I know. But why not? Because you said... Uh-huh. Hi. Really? I know. I know. That's not supposed to be there. Sorry, you have a kitty up front. Can't really see anything at the moment. There we go. Hey! Quit that. Are you sitting on my models? So why'd you do that then, you weirdo? Can't be trusting you with anything right now, Mr. Mischievous. Why? 
right. Oh, come here. Come here. Oh. Cat. You're purring. You love this. But you also hate it at the same time. You're so weird. Over here. Hello again. Don't know why, but this isn't one to go in. Force it in, then. There it goes. Where's five? This is supposed to be 12? I'm confused. <laughs> this is a dude without a foot. One, two, three. Oh, there it is. Chilling off in the middle of freaking nowhere. Okay, you're back. That is kind of annoying, though. 
the be right back screen just stays on there for a little bit. I ain't worried about it. Got some tea. And open the house up because it's actually not that bad outside. Okay. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Hold on a second. Yeah, you probably also see it on my screen because it is stuck on my screen. Alright, Barb Gaunts. Barb Gaunts? Barb Gaunts! They literally just have ranged weapons. Their melee is lackluster. I'm not really worried about showing it, but we'll show it, though. Um... They have a 24-inch range, D6 shots, hits on a 4, strength 5, no AP, 1 damage. But, their cool shtick is kind of dope. Give me one second. I don't like showing everything all at once because it brings suspense. And again, people could also just look on their own because that stuff's out. Oh man, these things actually don't have eyes. That's kind of nice. They have brains, though. They have little brains on the top. These are like bigger Neurogons now that you look at them properly. Yeah, they do, in fact, have a brain. It's kind of weird, but they do. I also gave up gluing everything. <laughs> I was getting kind of tired of it. I was mainly doing it for the monsters. The little dudes I'm not real too worried about. I am going to be doing it for the barb. Not barb, but uh, uh what's they're called? The Von Ryans. I will be doing those next, though. I'm probably doing the Termagant's dead ass last. But, uh, now, these, these aren't really meant to kill anything. If they do kill something, cool. But, like, their entire purpose is to not kill. It just happens that we play 40k and, uh, things do kill. Oh, 
Unintentionally, of course. I also enjoyed how I said, oh, I'm not going to glue anything. Turns around, glues it. <sighs> Fucking dumb. Man. I glue and start gluing. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Fucking retard. Just being dumb, mainly. Okay, I don't like this now. What the hell? Is this the issue? Sure the fuck hope it wasn't. Oh no, it's one of those. Get in there. There we go. Okay, that was, that was annoying. Alright, while I'm looking at the melee... It's super weak. The only thing they got going for them is they're hitting like a space marine. And that's pretty much it. Nothing really to talk home about. Now nah, these things, they're not meant to be in melee. And if they're in melee, they're probably not having a good day. Oh, I actually just broke the model. Because apparently the whatchamacallit was stuck to it. There it goes. And now this side. Oh, yeah. Let's say it's not all the way in. There it goes. Yes. It's in now. Not earlier, my throat was starting to get dry real bad. It's starting to get itchy from talking so much. Alright. Nine. <sighs> Ten. Also, Smokey wanted to look outside, so I opened the house up. So, I don't have a kit at the moment. Just a little kitten. That's all he is, just a baby kitten. With 11. There it is.
Alright, I think it's about time we looked at the abilities, though. Disruption Bombardment. In your shooting phase... I'm sorry. After this unit has shot, if an enemy infantry unit was hit by one or more of the attacks made by this unit's biocannons, until the end of your opponent's next turn, your oppo your enemy that enemy unit is disrupted. While the unit is disrupted, subtract two from its movement, will move characteristic, and subtract two from the advance and charge. When's it end, though? To your opponent's end of next turn. Till the end of your opponent's next turn, okay. So this... This model, well, this unit right here, will see competitive play. This unit, at least. Because these little things can basically disrupt an entire army if it's when within 24 inches. The hard part is just hitting them. Because you don't really need to wound them, you just need to hit them. And once they are hit... Their charge, advance, and move just just tanks. <coughs> then got another one coming. Ugh. Anyway, sorry. Uh, excuse me. No, well, these are silly if you don't run them. Like. Running a multiple, like, I think you're going to run 10 mans of these, I think. Let me see. Yeah, 5 to 10. They come with the bio cannons, you know, yeah, you don't care. What's their unit, though? That is why they're going to see competitive play. They're 100 points for 10 of them. And it's like, what? These are the one of the few units that are actually underpointed. A lot of the... Stuff in the Leviathan box are underpointed. But I think they did it to push out new models and, uh. Yeah. Make the Leviathan box look balanced. And plus, these. They only have two wounds, they're not powerful. Like, all you gotta do is just. Poke them and they're probably dying. They're only T4, I think. Yeah, they're not a threat at all, but they're more of an annoyance. And uh, they're really good at it. You can slow an entire army down, basically, with them, and it's like, oh, okay. That's cool, I guess. Kind of silly if you don't bring them, but in a casual game, well, in a competitive game at least, these things are silly. You're slowing down a lot of the faster armies. Not like there really is any, but you're just slowing things down, which is good. That's good. Okay. In you go. I Me, mean, I personally like these models. And if they traded these out for biovores. I ain't gonna complain. Biovores look stupid. Like, straight up. Those models look stupid. The rules are broken, but like... 
pretty much almost every edition Biovores have been nerfed. At least of the editions I played. But let's get back to the painting camera. All right. That's still there. Cool. Don't know why that's there. It's super annoying, though. We'll tell you that for sure. 18... That's 18. 19... I'm trying to figure out what these models actually look like. Like, to normal, nowadays kind of bugs. Because almost all the Tyranids in this entire game are based off of a model. Uh, Carnifexes, people say they're ladybugs. Um, this is clearly a freaking spider. Uh, hive Tyrants, they're praying mantises. Um, what else? Termagants are termites. Hormagants are ants, I think. No, hormagants are termites. Termagants are ants. That's why they're called termagant. Yeah, that's right. Gargoyles, they're moths. No, they're locusts. That's right. Because they're basically, in-game also, counted as a locust swarm. Okay, I think that's all of that one. Yeah, I think so. Alright. But, um... Uh, trying to think... Ow! Why did I do that? Yeah, I just cut myself. Actually, I stabbed myself on accident. I was distracted, wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I live. Okay. These kind of, uh, they look like a small beetle. Like, one of those black water beetles kind of thing. I don't know. It's just, I'm trying to always think of whenever I see, like, a Tyranid, I try to think of, oh, what are these? Like, uh, Moloch, Trigons, those are based off of Milla and Centipedes. Uh, the, uh, Raveners are Worms. No, Raveners are grubs. No. Ripper swarms are grubs. Raveners are worms. Just basic caterpillar worm kind of thing. Hive tyrant, yep, that's a praying mantis. Um, carnifexes are ladybugs. Warriors. I would say they're wasps in a way. Just without wings. Not really an actual bug for them, I think. Some kind of parasitic insect, I would say. Off the top of my head. Can't think of one right now.
But I think barb gaunts are a water beetle of some, or a beetle of some kind. Some kind of weird beetle. This can go on there like this. This is like the most easiest freaking builded model so far out of all of these. It's actually not even wanting to go in. There it goes. There it is. This part gone's done. We have currently the Prime Neuro Tyrant Psycho Face Screamer Killer done and four barb uh, barb gaunts. Do the Von Ryan's last. And, uh, pretty dope. My, I really do like this box. Like, probably the, I don't want to say the best box they've made, but, like, because their instructions are absolutely dog shit. Or at least the data sheets on the instruction book are absolutely dog shit. That's done. I think tomorrow though we're gonna paint the neuro turn because I really want to paint that model. <laughs> I really wanna. So I think tomorrow the first thing we're doing is painting the neuro turn. Because I think I can actually get this entire thing done in a week. Though I don't think I'm gonna get in. All 20 termigans done in one day, though. I can probably get 10 done in a day, but I don't think I can get all 20. <sighs> I think the uh, 10 threshold is a little bit more realistic than uh, doing all 20 in one day. In you go. Come on. In you go. Come on. There it goes. No, you're still being a bitch. Come on. Quit being a bitch. There it goes. It's being a bitch. Put this in here first this time. Kind of got the trick to building these actually at this point.
There it goes. Hang all the flash off. I almost forgot to do that. I think I did it on the last one. Yeah, I did it on the last one. Okay. Nope. Alright. Burb gaunts are banned. There we go. Yep. Barb guns, all done. All five. Now, the Von Ryans. I think these are all termagants. Yeah, these are all termagants. These are the Von Ryans. I'm just trying to get everything together. Alright. Now the Von Ryans. Let's go ahead and get their data sheet up. Von Ryan. They'll be at the V's. There they are. Von Ryan Leapers. They are a movement 10, T5, 4 up save, 3 wound, 8 leadership model with OC1. Uh, they also have a 6 up invulnerable save. Um, these models are basically a stealth unit. Um, they're a shock and all kind of thing. They hit, and then they poof. They hit, they're ambush predators basically. Or they're pack ambush predators kind of thing. Uh, their melee weapons are Leaper's Talons. Um, six attacks, three up. Well, three up to hit, five strength, neg one AP, and one damage per attack. These abilities on them are Fight First, Infiltrator, Stealth. Uh, faction abilities is Synapse. Pouncing Leap. You can target this unit with the Heroic Intervention Strat for zero CP. You can do so even if you already use this stratagem on a different unit this phase. So you basically have... If you have like three different units of Von Ryan Leapers, they can do this three times technically. Which is kind of cool. Um, it's like just a free heroic intervention without spending the actual stratagem. And then you could also spend that stratagem for additional zero CP if you have like a, a hive tyrant nearby or something like that. It's kind of cool. I really like it actually. But uh, I'm just not running them because I don't have a place for them in my army at the moment. Uh, their unit composition, you can bring three to six. There's 75 points for three and for four to six. 150. It's pretty good. I like it a lot. All right, let's get these sucker built. Let's go from one to the end. I think thirty. Nope, twenty-nine. Yep, twenty-nine. One to twenty-nine. These models do look pretty dope, though. These basically are lictors, effectively. But they're a different kind of lictor. They have a different purpose. A lictor is an assassin. It's its entire purpose is to assassinate. This is an ambush predator, and it uh, ambushes. Now I'm meant to like go on a full blown assault, kill everything in its path, kind of thing. No, ambush. And then 
probably immediately get picked up because they're probably dead. <laughs> Wait, how many attacks per model? I think he said six, right? Ooh, man, these are 18 attacks and they're hitting on threes. That's actually kind of gross. <laughs> Ooh. I just realized they have a lot of, like, they're carapaces. They have a lot of them, they're carapaces. Jesus. But, uh, let's go back onto the painting camera. Not the painting camera, the other camera. Alright, we are back. Hello there. And hopefully we have enough time. We've had a lot of technical difficulties today, but hopefully that'll be fixed tomorrow. I'm gonna have something to be able to access my, uh, my chat a lot more. I'm probably gonna get my tablet out to set it next to me. It's not a big deal, it's just, it's an inconvenience. A very, very annoying inconvenience. There we go. His legs are on. And honestly, I would be okay with running one of these as a lictor. These things look dope. Because these are effectively lictors, but in a different variation. And I can kind of see lictors looking somewhere like this a little bit. Because these aren't lictors. No, these are not lictor models. Bottom off. Now, lictors are dope, though. I might show them here in a bit. I honestly prefer the lictor over a death leaper. Because they have the uh, lone operative, the death leaper does, which is kind of cool, though. Kind of thought about running it. Glued in now. No, oh, didn't want to do that. There it goes.
Okay, this is three. This is part of the mouth, I think. Yep, that is all of for that one, I think. And that's for that. Uh, I think this goes right there. And then this one. Hold on. Before I go any way further, or anywhere else, I need to put this mouth on. Oh, shit. Ah, damn it. There it goes. I forgot to take some of the flash off of it, and then it just wasn't going on properly. There we go. Now it should work. There it goes. Yep, there it goes. Alright. Now this arm. Now the claws. Eight. I'm looking for the other claw. There it is. I tell you something, this thing has a lot of bits to it.
There's one leaper done. Fifteen. Yeah, these are have a lot of bits attached to them. Well, the Neurogons are like two or three bits. It's kind of funny, actually. Go the legs. Torso. This thingy, Majigger. Sixteen. Then seventeen will be. I don't know. Oh, it would be it. 17, 18, 19. Yep, okay. There's the claw. Jesus. I'm just snipping out this entire one singular model. There's so many bits attached to it. Holy shit. By the way, these models look phenomenal. Like, built kind of thing. Like, once I get everything built, I'm going to basically flip the camera around and show everyone. La finished product. Jesus, shit and Christ. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for one singular push to fit. Jesus freaking Christ. And again, I can't say much. Plague Burst Crawlers are uh, like, I think 40 or 50 or something like that. No, they're not that much. I think they're like 20. They're pushed to fit. In case anyone had any doubts. So anyway, my long hiatus. Uh, I planned on making more videos again. Probably more weekly than anything else. Just a, hey, I'm alive kind of thing. Or... Just a daily update video, what I'm planning on doing, or what I got going on. What I plan throughout the week, kind of thing. Like, a Monday thing, like today. But more of a video. Because I do commissions now. I am a commission painter. Uh, these are my models, though. The ones I'm building. If you guys had any idea back in the day, if you guys knew a couple years ago, uh, I played Tyranids. Um, those Tyranids don't exist anymore. They burnt down in a fire, but that was not because of the hiatus. That actually just happened almost a year ago. Like, today's the 26th, so in like four days. Yeah, it's pretty wild. It's been almost a year, but like... 
said models burnt down in the fire and uh, had to completely restart and I basically have everything I used to have. Excluding a fly rent because I, I mean I have a fly rent but like that's my first fly rent and I'm not touching it because it's my first one. It's actually my first ever hive tire and that's why I'm not touching it. Because it has sentimental value to me. Though it might look like shit, and also because I've tried stripping it, I kind of just didn't want to fuck with it anymore, 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 twice. If I can freaking get this stupid thing, there it goes. That looks good. Now defeats. But I have, in fact, already have played a 10th edition game. Uh, the first 10th edition game I've played, it was a 2,000 point game against Eldar. Eldar are stupid as fuck. And for the love of God, GW, fix their god dang rules. Come on. Really, they just need to fix this entire edition. You quit half assing shit. Be like Ron Swanson. Greatest quote ever made to man. Don't half ass two things, whole ass one. Okay.
There it goes. This model is going to be a. Ugh. I hate these kind of models. Come on. There it goes. He's going to have literally one foot on the ground. It's like. Why? <laughs> Just why? Okay, this little bit. I'm just going to stick it in there for like it. Should I have done it first? Yes. Do I just, do I regret my decision? No. Will I most likely do it again? Yes. There we go. The second one, Ryan Leaper done. God. Look how many bits are on this sprue. There's so many. I do enjoy the fact these things actually have proper hooves. Uh, they split. Thought it was kind of cool to see that. This one specifically does. Don't know if you see it, but it splits. Okay.
There it goes. Wasn't wanting to fit. Wasn't wanting to push to fit. I literally had to gouge it in there. The stupid thing wouldn't want to fit like this one will. There it goes. You can kind of tell when it goes in there. It makes a little <laughs> sound. Like, oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> and you can kind of tell which one's the sergeant of the unit, technically. They don't have them, but you can kind of tell which one is. Because uh, there's a weird little spike on the top of them. Uh, barb comps are really ain't much of a depiction of which one's which. Not really. Let me do this real quick before I forget. Come on, you. Get your ass in there. There it goes. It's a tiny little capillary tower. I wish GW actually made, like, little capillaries like this. One second. I need to see something. You're probably about to hear echoing. I'm... Curious? No. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. Alright, yep, yeah, okay. Of course it does. One second. I had a brain reset. One second. Okay. No, uh, like... Really? That was kind of obnoxious. Just a little bit. Instead of stream starting soon, I'm just gonna mute it and just... Poof. <laughs> if I have to go do something real quick. That's... That's obnoxious. I do wish GW did, in fact, make, like, little capillary towers we could, like, put on our base. Or someone does. Like, little tiny little capillary towers, like, different size ones. You can put on the bases, but you can't because, you know, no one ever does them. I thought about getting them custom done. Just have a few on there and here and there on bigger bases. I will also have to go out of town later and probably go pick myself up a thing of Astrogram because I'm out. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to finish all these models within... Like, the basing is probably not going to be done until Friday, I think. Because I need Astrogram it. And the video probably won't happen Thursday, to be honest. Because we are going out to play a few games of 40k. Uh, so... Kind of why I want to get all this stuff done beforehand. But I don't want to rush it, because I want to take my time on it. But I do want to get units done at a time. 
And technically, a 10 man of Termagants is a unit. So. Yep. Garbage brew. Throw that in the bin lighter. And I'm probably like the only dude who'd like waited to like build these because I wanted to do it on here. I think it's actually kind of funny. <laughs> it, it kind of is. Alright, put these on now. I also shouldn't have any more disruptions. Shouldn't. I gave him some cheese and... He likes cheese. And, uh, basically, yeah, I just, I just opened the house up and left me alone. I'm like, okay, I guess that's what you wanted. Okay. No more Von Ryans. All right. Let's do some Neurogons. Alright. Just looking at everything. See where the hell I need to start. I'm gonna start over here. 31. Well, 32, 30, 31. These things are fucking tiny, by the way. These are on 25 millimeters. And then one for the, whatchamacallum. Okay. 
I need another 25 millimeter because there's technically 11. I'll do that here in a minute. I know where they're at. It's just I have to go grab it. It actually might be this dude, to be honest. Just because how this base is. Uh, yeah. 31, 30, and 32. Is that it? Are there's literally just two bits? That's amazing. That makes my day. <laughs> that makes my day so much happier. I mean, I get it. They're like super tiny. Like, these are actually, I think, one of the most tiniest models out there right now for Tyranids. Right next to River Swarms. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is going to be the, uh, that one. Cause it's, it's flat. It's literally flat. <laughs> it's silly if I don't. Alright, let's get her on there. Oh, I still have some flash. Okay. On you go. There we go. Yeah, these are freaking tiny. Hold on. I'll be right back. Ow, my legs. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Yeah, I have it just random 25, just chilling around. Let's make sure it's 25, though. All right. One. Let's do the bigger one. Is it 43? He is multiple bits, I think. 43. 42. Forty one? Question mark? Oh, forty three, forty four, forty two. Okay. Wait, what? We're going to wing it. That's how I live my life anyway. Forty, forty-four. Because this is like the only one with like big. Forty-four. 
Four three four two. Yeah, okay. Wait. What? Like I know this goes on him because. Right? Yeah, this goes on him, 100%. <sighs> Just a second. I'd laugh if that'd be the only one. Son of a bitch. Hold on. 44, 41, 42. Okay. Little node beast. Definitely a little bit bigger than normal. Hello, Don. Yeah, I get that one for sure. Hey, don't worry, I've also had the small amount of them as well. I done, I would say. But we're about there. 39. 39. 39. World is not 40. Well, there, there it is. Do that right here in a second after I put this on. They look like little babies. They like. They're so tiny. Look at them. They're so tiny. <laughs> I love it. I, I can't really explain how tiny these are, but these are literally super tiny. Like, they're smaller than old Termagant's tiny. Alright, let me get their data sheet out. So that we can go look at it. Nope, not that. That was the instructions. Boop, 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 boop. There we are. 
All right. Neuro gaunts. Neuro, 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 neuro gaunts. They are a T3 unit. There it is, the gaunt. Basically, they're actually a weaker gaunt. Six up save. Three toughness. One wound. Eight leadership. One OC. They are actually poo. Um, one attack, four up to hit, three, zero, one. <laughs> Abilities, this is the only reason why I'm running them. Neuroscience, while this unit is within synapse range of your army, it has the synapse keyword. It can bounce synapse. That's it. And if you give it to the Neuro Tyrant, well, not technically, you can bounce the little Neuroloids with them and they can dart off. It's kind of cool. Um, but there's literally nothing. These are the most, these are the second underpointed unit in this entire army. They're 45 points. It's actually kind of funny. You can bring two Nero Node Beasts. Not like it really does anything. These things are a lot better if you run them in 10 mans, though. Well, 11 mans, technically. They can run in 22 mans. Because the little Node Beast is technically the little sergeant. He has that little gribbly on top. Well, technically, he's the only one here with a brain. Um, yeah, these things are kind of cute. That's the only reason why I'm running them, because they're cute. But, alright, let's go back to the building. Alright. We're back. 28... Okay, it just feeds in, like this, like this, please fit in like this, please, please, there we go, ow, there we go, we're good, and then we're going to see him in your keys. This guy is so tiny. They're so cute. Like, for real, they're actually cute. Rule of cute? Is that a thing?
think they can go in. Hold on, I gotta scratch my eye. Go in, you! I'm about to snip that little part off. Being a pain in my ass. I think I will actually. No, I don't want to do that. I said I don't want to do that. I did that. Whatever. Let's flatten it out, I guess. Okay. I didn't want to do that, but I did it. Because it literally didn't want to fit. And I was tired of fighting with it. Okay. Wrong one. I used to use that. So I just casually grabbed it. Is that the right one? I mean, it kind of has to be at this point. Zilla movie. They're little tiny arms. These things are just cute. I don't know why these are just so cute. Charming ants are gross. They got a little tiny mouth and everything. They're just cute. I don't know how. Why did I'm still trying to think about what to paint everything. Because I'm currently not, like, fixated on everything being how everything should be.
Oh, I just fucked up. <clears throat> I lied. They even got little knee pads. I also enjoy the fact these are a hell of a lot more armor than actual termagants. And termag and termagants have a better save than these. It's actually kind of funny to be honest. But uh, after I get off of here, I'm probably gonna. I'm not doing it right now. I'm getting all this shit built today. <laughs> Ouch. Once I get all this stuff built after the video, I plan on doing uh, the priming off camera. Just make life easier, mainly. Four of these dudes left. Let me just set these to the side over here. Twenty seven, twenty six. Where's that? I think this is actually the one. Yeah, it is. I think so. 28. Yeah, there's no 29. I've already snipped it. Yep, this is the one. I don't think the term again is going to take long, though. I think they're three bits instead of two. But they're on tiny sprues, so I don't think it will take that long. Then again, I also have Ripper Swarm, so it might be a little bit longer than expected. But I have like two, I have an hour and a half to get all this done, so... Thirty-eight, thirty-seven, thirty-eight,
There it goes. Oh, shit. Sure, you seen that one coming. These models are just so tiny, though. Jesus. Yeah, it's fine. They're just like, damn. Scared me a little bit. 33, 34. At least I don't have to paint that many eyes. I think the literal only eyes I have to paint are... Does thing have eyes? No. The Prime. The Spider. And the Termagants. That ain't bad. And I have literally one brush to do that, so. Have one left. Okay. One more left. How about that? And after this, we're working on the termagants, and then we'll be done. And then after this, I'll probably stop for a minute, get some things done, then go outside and prime. Let it cool off just a little bit. It is a little muggy outside, but I don't think that'll affect much.
There it goes. Okay. Now we're gone, you're done. Did the garbage pile. And now the yes amount of termagants. <coughs> yeah. I've got not a singular clue how these are going to fit on there. I'll do those last, I think. Oh, new data sheet. Oh, before I forget. Oop. Alrighty, let's go to the termagants. Termagant, termagant, termagant. There they are. Termagants are a six inch movement, T3, five up save, one wound, eight leadership, two OC model. Uh, we're probably gonna have to put my phone on the charger here in a minute because my phone's about to die! <laughs> Oh no, actually. <laughs> I actually might have to call it here in a bit because my phone is dying. Uh, I will be a little bit more prepared for tomorrow because I am not at all today. So, anyway, I'll just do these. I'll do this first real quick because it is dropping in power, well, energy real fast. Um, so, flesh borers are assault at 18 inches. One attack, hits on four, strength five, no AP, one damage. Termagant Devourers are 18 inches, two attacks, four ups to hit, four strength, no AP, and then one damage. 12 inch for Spine Fist, two, four, three, oh, one. It's Assault, Pistol, and Twin Linked. Honestly, Flesh Borers are still better, but, uh... Termagant Devourers are kind of looking kind of spicy, due to the fact they're now Strength 4 instead of Strength 3, two attacks. So, Strength 4 is, it's not bad. You're wounding most Marines on 4 still, but like, it's two attacks instead of one. And I think there's something in the game that can make them plus one to hit. I think. Um, well, plus one to wound or something like that. And then the melee weapons, yeah, no one cares. Uh, abilities. Skulking Horrors. Once per turn, when an enemy unit ends a normal advance or fallback move within 9 inches of this unit, if this unit is now within engagement range of one or more enemy units, it can make a normal move of up to D6 inches. So, I have a complaint about this, because everyone else just has... They get to move 6 inches. What the hell? Like, why do they get to move 6 inches and we have to move D6? And it has to be within 9 like, the fuck? War gear options, though. Um, yeah, we already know. Unit composition, you can bring 10 to 20 with a flesh bore or xeno claws and teeth. Uh, they come in units of 10 to 20. Um, instead of just 10 to 30, they dropped. Um, now you now they're 60 points for 10. Decent price, actually. If they go up 10, 5 more points, it'd still be worth it. Um, and uh, termagants from 11 to 20. 120 points. Also, if it went up another 5 points, it'd be okay. Um, 130 points for this unit. I can see this going there, to be honest. Uh, keywords. They are they are battle line. And they're endless multitude. Were the Neocons endless multitude? I don't remember. Actually, I don't think they even looked. Keywords. They are. Coolio. So when you're guarding the Nero Tyrant, you can, in fact, bodyguard with it and can also heal these dudes back. That's spicy. I really like that. 
cool. And now Ripper Swarms. We're going to go there right now because that is the last one I need to do. Yeah, I won't have enough power to complete this entire thing. Hmm. Ripper Swarms. Where are they? There they are. Ripper Swarms. Their movement 6, T2, 6 up save, 4 wounds, leadership 8, no objective for control. Makes actually kind of sense due to the fact they don't need to. <laughs> like, they're meant to, uh, for example, about to show you, half the objective control characteristic on models in that unit if they are within engagement range of this unit on an objective. You can just make dudes with one OC just have none. No one's getting it. <laughs> um, their melee... Just, ooh, I didn't actually see that. They have sustained hits. Mm, I didn't see that. Uh, they have six attacks per model. Um, you can bring them in units of three to six, yeah. Anyway... Five up weapon skill, strength two, no AP, one damage. N I don't ever expect to kill anything with these. These are a unit, they're a gimmick unit, just to take you out of the objective. Spine Maws. Oh my god, these things actually exist now, finally. <laughs> these are actually not that bad. <laughs> For everything else they have on them, strength three, no AP, one damage. Four attacks, pistol, I mean, that's actually not bad. Um, it'd be honestly better if you ran these in a unit of six, just due to the fact they're T2, you're pretty much being wounded on by everything in the game on twos. Um, and you need the extra wounds, because they're only four wounds per base. I have, like, I think, 18 of these, so I can bring an entire army of the Ripper Swarms, which is kind of cool. Because, uh, you get an additional two out of the, uh, Leviathan box. So... I am sorry, guys, I won't be able to finish the building today. I have tried, and I have failed. But I will send a picture afterwards in the, um, just make a post on it. I will make a post on it on YouTube and on pretty much social media everywhere that I am possibly able to exist on. Um, I have an Instagram as well. Um, that'll be in the link in the description below. So I hope everyone enjoys. I am... Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow when I start painting. The Neuro Tyrant and the Prime. That is the plan. So, peace.